Let's continue now with your messages. This is from Patrick. So, good morning, Michael. I have a high-pressure job in the financial sector. Uh, I often feel the need to listen and relax music uh, after uh, a stressful day. That's what it says. It says, do I like Phil Collins? Uh, he said he's been a big Genesis fan ever since the 1980 album. Uh, he goes on to say, uh, what do I think, what does the Bible say about music? And is it sinful to regard it as a comfort? Patrick, you, you also say you like other groups as well. You mentioned Huey Lewis. I myself, before I came to the Lord, was a child of the 60s. I used to go and watch the Rolling Stones play live. I saw the Beatles play live. And I've got a record collection. I've got about a thousand uh, singles, old singles, and I've got about 500 albums. They're all locked away. I never listen to any of them. Uh, I find that the best way to unwind, that is for me, is to listen to wonderful praise and worship music. I like all sorts of praise and worship, worship music, some modern stuff. I love some of the old hymns, and especially when they've been revamped and modernised. And this is what I would say to you, Patrick. Give it a try. Uh, I've got nothing personal against Phil Collins. Now, I'm sure he's a nice bloke and some of his music was great. But give praise and worship a chance. Open your mind up to the wonderful words that are coming out some of our greatest hymns and greatest worship songs. And I think you'll find you'll fall in love with them and you may not need to listen to secular music anymore.